Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Cosplay Girl Budgets and I am Lauren. If you are new to my channel, on this channel I do cash stuffing, budgeting, and sometimes trip vlogs. I'm trying to get into that more. Um, so welcome if you're new. I hope that you stay and join my journey. Um, today we, we are stuffing some cash today, not from any paycheck. I actually was kind of organizing my office area and I completely forgot that I had money in my AnimeCon binder and I decided to reallocate it because I don't really need to buy a convention badge um, at the moment. Uh, I'm going to kind of save up for that slowly in a, a separate time. So I decided to reallocate the money going towards some of my binders. So let's count the cash. We have 10, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 62, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4. So $74 is what we have. And this is also money from my business binder as well. Um, I kind of have to share something with you guys. I think I might be closing my um, Etsy shop for a little bit just because I have kind of been all over the place this year um, in terms of like being consistent on YouTube and also my Etsy and I just think with the holiday season um, I just kind of need to take a little break from it as well as I haven't really been selling anything and so the Etsy fees are coming in my account and I have nothing to <laughs> I have nothing to pay for it through my business and right now I'm very like kind of financially pinched and I don't really have that extra money just to pay for you know the, all of the Etsy fees so we are just going to uh, close down the shop for t uh, temporarily and I will have on the screen and down below what date I'm going to be closing it because um, I haven't really decided quite just yet but yeah so this is going to be a mini cash stuffing as well as um, a bit of a debt confession so yeah we'll do some cash stuffing just because it makes me happy um, and then we will face forward and you will see my lovely face for a little chat so let's get into it so first off we're going to stuff my little scratch roll and save book and this is, of course, by KTW Planning and Budgeting. And I really love this binder so much. Um, so we are going to cash stuff the 23 that we scratched and rolled for last time. So 20, oh, I'll just put a $2 in there. So 20 to 3. And let's see how much we have right now. So in here we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 125, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. All right, <laughs> 133 is in here, which is exciting. It's gonna get uh, me all jumbled up with a $2 bill. I might have to change that. <laughs> Not used to counting with twos. Uh, normally I would scratch and roll but um, I might put a pause on this for just now um, and kind of see where to go from here. Um, I'll talk more about that in my deck confession, but for now we're not going to stretch anything. So that's it for that. Next up is my adventure binder. And we are going to catch up this savings challenge. And I believe we owed it, yes, $41. This was the big, the big ticket one last time. So let's see, 35, 40, and one. Let's see, 10, 30, 10, 20, 35, 41. Okay. 
Okay, so now for our Libra um, savings challenge, and this is by Cute Budgets. We are saving 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 75, 76, 77, 78 dollars, which is awesome for the month of October. I think that's the highest amount we have saved yet, so that's very exciting. The next one up in the horoscopes will be Scorpio. Look how pretty this one is. So we will start that eventually. I'm not sure when. Um, but yeah, so I'll just put this back in here. So that's awesome. We finished that savings challenge and I'll put this in the back here so we can start it next time. And yeah, so a little update on this binder. The only thing that's cash stuffed right now is Katsukon and it has one dollar. <laughs> and I decided to put trackers behind them. Maybe I'll fill them out better. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I kind of just switched up the order a bit, but everything in here is quite empty. And my vacation is all done, so I had a wonderful time in Las Vegas. And the bands that I saw from when we were, from when we were young were amazing. It was such a, a blast from the past. They were doing like a lot of their first albums, and it was so much fun. So let's see how much we have left. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. Okay, ten dollars. I didn't really like plan what to do other than like stuffing my savings challenges. Um, let's go into my main binder because I feel like that makes sense. <laughs> um, and we will put it in my dog's fund because I might have to buy him dog food soon. So now Enzo has 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 dollars. So that's good. All right. All right, so that concludes the cash stuffing portion of this video. I am now going to be flipping the camera over to me and we are going to talk all things debt. So if you are interested in debt confessions, also debt plans, that's what I will be going over. Hey, <laughs> so this is very rare for me to be with you guys face forward. Um, normally you only see my hands, but hi, it is I, <laughs> um, Lauren. So yeah. I'm a little nervous, I don't know why. I guess because I don't do this very often. Um, but yeah, so I have my numbers here. And I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about what's kind of been going on in my life. Um, you guys know that I've been like preparing for my friend's wedding, my best friend's wedding, her dress and everything. And the past two videos have been previously recorded, but this is real time. So it's just, this is a real life update. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit what's going on in my life because I kind of feel, essentially, I feel financially pinched. Um, and I kind of made that choice by doing the personal loan and it is quite a bit of a high monthly payment and it makes sense since I, uh, I took out quite a bit. And I know I've been telling you that I would tell you the numbers of how much I took out from my personal loan. And yeah, so here we are. Um, but first, let's talk about kind of like what's le led up to this video. I went to Vegas. I planned everything out. I knew October I was getting an extra bonus paycheck. So I was like, cool, I can spend a little ahead and know that I'll be covered. I was writing it down. I'm very pen and paper kind of person when it comes to figuring out every little financial detail. I am very detail oriented in that aspect and I thought it was good. And then I went to Vegas and I realized, oh Lord, it is so expensive out there in terms of just eating. Um, I don't think I've paid less than $20. Yeah, less than $20 
to eat one meal. And yeah, a lot of my friends did chip in more than I did and I said I would pay them back, but after looking up at everything as a whole, I don't even know how I'm gonna do that. But yeah, so I intended to only spend $200, which was a joke. <laughs> Um, after I got there, I was like, there's no way I can survive for meals on $200. And granted, I did, I did buy a t-shirt and I did get a tattoo, which those things I should have probably not done. But at that point, when I was there, I was like, YOLO! So yeah, I'm gonna pay for the consequences of my actions now. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, that's really not what made my trip so expensive. It was really the food and transportation, just being there, it's a lot. Um, and I have to eat at least two to three times a day, so you know, I'm spending anywhere from 60 to $100 a day on just consuming food. So after everything budgeted out, I did end up spending like close to $700 there. And another part of that was I didn't realize that there was going to be a resort fee for the hotel. We stayed at the Flamingo Hotel, very beautiful hotel. They actually have um, real life flamingos, which is really, really cool. Maybe I'll pop a, maybe over here, something of the flamingos. Um, I loved at the hotel. I just didn't expect there to be a fee of $200. And my friends said they would pitch in, but I can't ask them to because they were totally spending so much money on like food. They would grab the like restaurant bill. So I feel like it kind of balances out that I would just take care of that fee. So yeah, that was an extra $200. And yeah, so needless to say, I think I budgeted for this trip technically I budgeted oh well let's see I have it right here in my adventure binder um because I I didn't finish my tracker and I was trying really hard to but um between all of my trips I definitely planned a lot more trips than I um should have I do realize that now but this trip was kind of like prepaid for in terms of like buying the concert ticket last concert ticket last year but yeah so I couldn't be like I can't go because I paid for the concert ticket I paid for the hotel and flight already so it wasn't like I can be like I can't go now and I'll sell my ticket because it was a little too late so I had to go but yeah so I ended up putting for my total trying to save was 1260 and if I think about it now I probably should have saved up probably close more close to 2000 um, and I would have been a lot better financially but yeah like I said there was many little things that I did this year that I probably shouldn't have knowing that I had this big trip at the end of the year but with all that being said can't change the past I can only look forward to the future and tackle the issue that I have now. So let's get into numbers. Right off the bat, my personal loan that I took out to consolidate all of my credit cards um, was 20,500, yeah. So that's how much I had in terms of all of my credit cards and I have about um, one, two, three, four, five credit cards, so yeah. <laughs> um, so I did make my first payment and it brought down the balance to $20,440.26. But if I was to pay it off today with interest that's been occurring since I took it out, it would be $20,543.40. So the first payment that I made was $511. And I know as I pay it and it brings it down, the interest will be less and less. But yeah, that was a really big chunk. It was basically like I didn't even pay the first month. So I was just paying the interest. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, 
my car payment. It started at 12,100 and currently it is 9,346 and 70 cents. And if I was to pay it off today, it would be 900, uh, 900, I wish, 9,364 and 51 cents. So we are going pretty good with that one. I have been paying it for now over a little over a year. So we still have a while to go, but um, making good progress on that. And that one is my 202, um, and I believe it's like 96 cents or something like that. Um, 66 cents. I like to be very accurate. <laughs> um, so that is not that bad. And then um, currently on my credit cards, I have my Amex Rewards card at $59.11. I did end up putting a little bit of the Las Vegas um, expenses on there. And and as you could probably hear, Enzo has come to visit me. <laughs> um, let me show you what he looks like. Enzo. Yeah, so I put some expenses on there. Um, just like a Uber because it's connected to that card. And then my Visa card, I have $16.79 and that is from Etsy fees as well as I think I didn't have lunch one time and I put Starbucks on it, my card. So yeah, I need to prep. <laughs> Food prep is important when you're trying to save money. Um, my other American Express card is at zero, my city card is at zero, and the Big Kahuna, which I use daily, and I used it for my um, my trip, is now at $1,638.91, and I'm really not proud of that. Um, what, honestly, I thought I was going to be okay with my third paycheck, because I'm like, cool, I have like $900 left over after, like, all the bills are paid in October for this third paycheck and I can just like put a huge chunk and like pay off the chase card but and I thought I was going to be within that budget and yeah as I said before things were just like way more expensive than I thought so yeah and then I thought about it as I was like oh I'll just do my I like to do my monthly um my monthly budget in advance and I was doing it and then I forgot that I needed to save half of my personal loan in my last paycheck from October so that's $255 that is not going towards my Chase card and yeah so that really like screwed everything up because I'm like wow I really can't pay off my credit card um yeah and I do have 140 that was going to go towards my credit card, so that was going to be like a thousand, and I thought that's where I was going to be at, and instead I'm at 1600. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'm trying not to cry because I'm very like very upset with myself for not getting things done correctly and spending an. Exp and spending in, in advance. I expressed to you guys when I took out the personal loan that that I needed to be a little bit more strict with myself because if I do put money on my cards then I won't really have money for my daily expenses. So, and I did it. I did that anyway. I told you guys this is going to be a little bit raw and real today. Uh, yeah. Let me collect myself. And you know, I'm not, I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because I'm, I'm frustrated with myself. And I know, I know I'm just being hard on myself. Um, because I know I can get out of it. I have shown on my my channel that I've gotten out of my credit cards 
but it's just like a continuous cycle of that. I pay them off and then I put money back on it. I think it's because that idea of like spending in advance, that's where you get into trouble. So maybe I will focus on not doing that anymore and spending what is in exactly in my budget and what is in my account and in my binders. Um, so the reason why I didn't roll or uh, scratch off anything is because I'm not, um, I'm not sure I might empty my binders just so that I can get a chunk of the chase card down. Um, it's going to really suck, but I need to not have a large uh, fee for interest because I know with it being six hundred sixteen hundred I probably will have an interest of at least a hundred dollars. So yeah hundred dollars paid to them, which is really upsetting um, Which is what I was trying to avoid by doing a personal loan is like minimizing all of my interest because it was like an insane amount of interest versus like interest on one thing and I did end up getting a good percentage on that personal loan. It's just that the amount of money it ha it like ended up in the higher of the bracket. So I think it's at like 14%. Um, but yeah, so I also thought that like by doing this personal loan, I would be able to like squash the debt really quickly um, as soon as I moved in with um, a family member. Um, I was gonna move in with them, but not to no fault of their own, they just can't do it at this time. So I'm still here. I'm still here with my $1,850 rent. So that's taking up a chunk of my money. Um, but yeah, so I still can, am going to continue to find a cheaper rent. I'm okay right now. I need to be grateful that I have a roof over my head. I have every part of my bills paid. Nothing is going to be paid late. It's just that the amount of money that I have to spend on my daily necessities is very, very low. And I've never felt this like pinched, constricted, um, in a very, well, ever, honestly, um, so, we're at rock bottom, and there's only up from here, so I'm gonna try to hold on to that positivity, and we are just gonna, I'm just gonna keep documenting this on YouTube, because that is why I wanted to make this channel, is a documentation of my financial journey, and it is to share with you the do's and the don'ts and how I handled it. So hopefully that this helps anybody and maybe makes you feel at least not alone in the crazy financial situations that we in get into. Um, but yeah, so with that, I'm going to say bye before I start bursting into tears again. Um, thank you so much. You guys like make my day every time you comment on my videos. You don't know how much it means to me. So thank you so much, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.